Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of El Supercast. With me today is MSU Hitman. Yes, hello again you. Thanks for having me on again and thank you for being on our show a couple weeks back. Ah yes, not a problem. I I heard it and it was rather uh, interesting with all the uh, audio going all over the place. (laughs) Yeah, the latest Skype update has Steven uh, flummoxed uh, because it's made his audio much louder and mine much softer for some reason, even though we're both using the exact same microphone. Yes, that is very, very strange. It's like they need uh, another update just to fix the current update. (laughs) I think Steven would be happy with that. (laughs) Oh, I I would be happy as well. I've noticed that uh, when I try to record a uh, a tag team match that I was doing, the at certain points I didn't notice it because you can't really notice when you're recording. But the audio level went rather up in the air, and I'm like, "What the hell is this? Damn you, Skype! My old Skype wasn't this bad." <laughs> <laughs> So let's get right down to business here. I don't know if you have been watching any of the stuff that has been going on, but uh, I think it's safe to say that I have given up 100%. That's it. I have had it. I do not care if Hogan's there. I do not care if they bring back, Oh, yeah, Macho Man Randy Savage. Can you dig it? I don't care if they bring back him. I don't care if Sting turns his face purple. I have had it with TNA. (laughs) I have had it with WWF. And let me tell you something. I have also had it with a certain John Cena. I don't even want to see what he is bringing anymore. That's it. I'm done. I'm done. Fat it up here. (laughs) Fat up. Well, welcome to where I was uh, earlier this spring when um, I think I might have been on here before. And if I remember correctly, you were telling me, oh, no, 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 no. No, you, you got to watch. You'll watch the WWE. You'll go back. You'll go back. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yes, I, I believe, uh, yeah, we did, we did say something like that. Yep. So welcome to my world from a few months ago. You know, it's it's hard to let go. At least for me. I don't know about anybody else. But uh, well, th- It wasn't as hard for me because I've got, you know, as many video games that I, you know, deal, you know, work around with and regular television. You know, I've been able to quit cold turkey and not go back. But, you know, I can imagine, you know, if you don't have a lot of games or something, you need something else to take up that time. I mean, if you yeah. don't watch enough TV or, you know, regular sports or, or whatnot... You know that you know it would be hard to fill up that time. Yeah, there is something that uh, may be taking the lion's share of my spare time, and that something is Minecraft. Ah, yes. Oh, so you are aware of this thing that sucks you in? Yes, I I'm fully aware of it. I've not really played it, but yes. Yeah, I I think that uh. Because I've tried the classic, and oh yeah, I like it. It's fantastic. <laughs> Making your own castles and and layouts, yeah, that all that appeals to me. And then when I saw all the extra stuff that the updated one has, I'm like, okay, I need to uh, save up a few bucks and uh, get this updated one because this seems really cool. Like I can, I can literally make my own interpretation of Eye of the Beholder. And it'll look like what is there on the actual game. I like that. It appeals to me. Okay. So yes, I may be diving into that and uh, that will take a lot of my time. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I got that covered. (laughs) (laughs) TNA, screw you guys. I'm out of (laughs) here. Um... Speaking of which, though, I did find out only because he did an interview with uh, ESPN's Bill Simmons for an hour. Uh, the Miz is champ now. Yes, that is correct. 
That is 100% correct. They gave the Miz a push, and uh, yeah, he's the champ for the time being. Yeah, I, I heard an interview with him. Um, he seems like a guy that's got his head on straight pretty well, so you know maybe maybe that'll work out for him. Seems like he's really worked hard at because I, I mean I didn't realize his entire background. I mean he went through the whole background with the road rules and everything, and mm. from from there to to WWE and. You know, I mean, he put his dues in, and, you know, he seems like a pretty good guy. So, you know, congrats for him. I don't watch anymore, but, mm -hmm. I, you know, I, I don't know how good of an in-ring technician he is, but I know he was always one of the, you know, probably top five guys on the microphone for them. So, you know, because... Well, I'll, I'll say this about him. He knows... He knows how to... How to be a a really good heel. He's mm -hmm. got he's got that taken care of. He knows how to do that as as for him being a technician. Uh see it's hard to say cuz I really I really haven't paid attention to uh the way that he wrestles. And I don't think I've seen many of his matches. Uh obviously he's no Bret Hart. I would say. Well, no, you you are. <laughs> I, I would say that. Uh, I'm trying to remember. He has he has his moves. I'm just not a good judge of uh, if he's a uh, you know, what range he is in. But hey, being the champ, obviously he has something. So yeah, he's up there. At least for now, he's the one that all the fans love to hate. Because everyone's like, oh my god, did you see this guy is champion? What the hell is going on here? Has WWE lost his mind? What is this guy being champion for? You know, you get that going around. Mm -hmm. uh, are you aware of the Miz girl? The the um, the one that they zoomed the camera on that, um, yes. that, that did the death stare? Yes, they even talked about it during the interview... Uh, someone on uh, Cheap Ass Gaming, this is how I kind of first found out Miz got the title. Uh, someone on Cheap Ass Gamer made a uh, animated GIF of Miz with the title, mm -hmm. and then the uh, that girl's look, and then they uh, photoshopped in. I don't know if you know Akuma from the Street Fighter series. Yes, I am aware of. Okay. So they, uh, they, 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 the animated GIF is him with the title, the girl staring at him, the five symbols of Akuma's super move, and then the GIF flashes, and then uh, it's Akuma's body with the girl's head, you know, with the girl's head imposed over Akuma's head, and her late, you know, her standing over, um, over Miz's body like she had just done Akuma's super on him. Well, you see, that's the kind of reaction that, uh, you know, the word is getting around. Uh, as for me, I, I'm, I, w I was done with it before. Like, every once in a while, when I had nothing better to do, I would watch here and there. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, I, 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 that's it. I'm done with that. 100%. That's it. That's it. Done. Done with, done, done with all of that mess. That's it. Can't get her. Ah, 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 oh, it's horrible. Ah. Uh. But one thing that I am not done with is the is the classic stuff mm -hmm. oh yeah I've been loving that building up to that time before the NWO got there Woo! those were those were really good times yep oh yeah I've been I've been watching uh, some of that on my free time I was like oh yeah this is this is what I'm talking about here now here we go we had we had hitman in his prime He's beating the crap out of everybody else. We had oh, Mr. Perfect. We had Mr. Early Sean, oh, yeah. Early Shawn Michaels. Uh, a lot of a lot of really great talent back then. Taker mm -hmm. was a young guy. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. The end of Macho Man's well WWF era. Yep. Yep. You know, Arguably, you know, the end of well, I mean, him and DDP did pretty good in WCW, but you know, pretty much, pretty much the tail end of, of Macho Man's. Um, and you know, he he did the right thing. He knew that his body 
probably couldn't take anymore. I think he left at the right time and decided, well, guys, that's it for me. I'm going to move on, you know, because uh, if you look at Hogan now, he's all bent out of shape. Yeah. Yeah, like, you know, that that's one thing that when you're in that sport, you have to know when... when when your body is at its limit, you have to know the right time to say, okay, guys, that's it. I'm, I'm done. Uh, maybe I'll come back and do some commentary, but as for in the ring kind of stuff, yeah, I'm, I'm 100% done with that because, uh, frankly, my body can't take any more of it. You know, have a, had yeah, a lot of other. A very young player, very young player and fit player. It takes it takes your toll. For for those who who who've never seen anything about about what wrestling does to your body over and over, these guys are on tour for for almost the whole year. They get very little t- days off to recuperate, if any. It's all the time on motion, going to point A to point B to all over the place. Years and years of that 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 degrades your body rapidly. Yeah. So, uh, oh, dang it! I didn't want to make this all into wrestling cast. Ah, I wanted to talk about some video games, too. Mm-hmm. All right. So uh, we, we don't have a lot of time left, but uh, what are your thoughts on the Tron Legacy as a video game? You know how things are with movies going into video games. Usually not not good. Usually very, very bad. But I want your thoughts on this. Well, the, the new game is actually serves as the prequel to the movie. This has been tried a few different times. Um, the last significant one that I can remember was Enter the Matrix back on the PS2 and the Xbox. Mm-hmm. Uh, that was a prequel to the movies. Most of the time it's a direct retelling of the movie, but they're going with a prequel to the movie. So... Um, I have not seen any reviews. The game literally just came out today as this is recording, so I I don't know a whole great deal about it. Mm -hmm. But um, it is interesting to see. It makes me kind of sad. I mean, I have seen bits and pieces of Tron here and there, but I have never watched the movie from beginning to end in one setting. Oh, I see. Yeah. So I kind of need to do that. But, of course, Disney... Apparently, Tron on DVD is like this red herring that is yep. like, oh, if you have it, you know, lock it in a safe deposit box or something. I don't understand that. But yeah, I I need to find my uh <laughs> my VHS copy. <laughs> <laughs> Which hey, is... Disney, you might want to make some money off that. Just saying. No, they, it might be a good time to re-release it. My understanding is that uh, they did it on purpose so that the people wouldn't be swayed by the. Uh, from what I remember, it it was the best that that could be done at back then. But that's many many years ago. You don't want people to be seeing what was the best so many years ago when the main focus is on this movie is bringing what technology can do today. Yeah, but it would still be nice. Like, I, I, I need a bit of a refresher. Mm-hmm. I don't know if Netflix has it or something, but a oh, refresher well, would be good. I'm really not sure. I think they like. I think they kind of told everyone to like, hey, don't, don't, don't put this out there. Like, wait, wait until we give the okay. Then, then go for it. You know, go all for it. But for now, don't, don't, don't piss us off, because we will sue your ass. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh. We're almost out of time. Is there uh, any websites and stuff that you want to give props to before we get going? Uh, noobreview.com, www.noobreview.com. I mean, it's a UK-based site, but for those of you that remember us from the Versus Realms days, uh, Kamiza, one of the mods from Versus Realms, that's his video game site. Uh, that's also the um, host site for the Checkmate Arcade podcast that I co-host with uh, Stephen Boss, and you can get all the new episodes there. Uh, Noob Review is actually relaunching. It's It had its own podcast, and they're relaunching it uh, today as well. So there's two different gaming podcasts that you can get on NoobReview.com. All right, and with that, we're out of here. Take care, everyone. Peace out, everybody. <laughs>